and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is David, which is a very creative name. He is ranked 21st in his silver division with 25 wins and 27 losses and 476 points. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the blue Terran in the west up against the red Protoss David. In the south, the map is Lost Temple, which is supposed to be a four-player map, resulting in longer games. I don't think I've ever played a longer game on this one. It's usually one to two base, and that's it. Maybe the third base starts to get on the way, but I've never seen a game, or I've never played in a game, I should say, that goes to three or four bases per side. I always like to watch the Protoss players early on to see what they use the Chrono Boost for because it is free and it starts immediately on probes. So he is going to be going, at least in the early game, onto the probes, which he can no longer afford apparently, especially now that the pylon is underway, not finished, and he is supply locked. So already we are seeing some differences between the gold players and the silver players um, I believe the last protest player I played was either gold or platinum and the early chrono boost was done a little bit better by that player and chrono boost is very important especially in the early game gateway is on the way along with my barracks and once again gateway barracks his is about a second faster, so his is a little bit late. That is because he went supply locked himself, and he queued up a... Co oh, he still queued up a couple probes. What are you doing? And it's not even chrono boosted. There we go. Now I'll get those out a little bit faster. All of us scouting all over the map. Neither one of us has found the other player yet. Because when I have played this map, I have had all spawning positions. There's no rhyme or reason to this one. When I've played on, I believe it was uh, Shakura's Plateau, which I believe they took out of the 1v1 little map part or whatever. The, whatever list, the, the 1v1 list, the, they took Shakura's Plateau out. And on that one, I believe there was a particular spawning location that never happened and here oh dick proxy pylon going down i moved the marine down and oh i see the probe so i'm like oh chase the probe chase the probe get him out of here before he builds a proxy pylon but he did oh i was trying to figure out i was like no way i got the probe you know, what's the proxy pylon doing there? I checked it, I checked it, but no, I didn't check it. I saw the probe and ran after him. So, that was really good probe micro. It was probably inadvertent, and it probably doesn't work every time, but hey, it worked on me this time. And Lost Temple is definitely one of those maps where you can do that proxy kind of stuff without the player noticing. I mean, look at all this room behind the base. This, I mean, this is all the back of the base. And uh, if you build something, especially right here, right in the corner, there's not much I can do except put somebody there to spot it to find out if it's there. But because of our spying positions, I should start building the supply depots around here. But I don't know if I do that. I'll be honest, I don't remember. This was played a few days ago, and like I said, I've been exhausted. I mean, I've, I've been making mistakes. I never mistake and make like that one right there. English, math, whatever. Cannot do it. Because I am so tired. It is actually about 2 in the morning right now. And I should probably stop casting. But I don't care. I want to finish this last one. And then move on to the Seven Saga. See if I can get at least a little bit done there. And then we'll move on. And what is going on here? No probes being done here? I mean, look at all that. No, pr no probes. It's been about 10 seconds. Still nothing. Robotics facility on the way. But no probes on the way. What are you doing, man? 
two zealots and two stalkers is apparently enough for him to move out. So he is going to be doing that now. Oh, that's why. Because he is going for the proxy right now. Three stalkers going inside the base. It looks like he stopped production on the probes because he thinks this is pretty much going to be game over, I assume. He's going to do a two-pronged attack here. But he, what he doesn't know is that I do have enough to counter both of them at the same time. I just have to split my army a little bit here, especially with the concussive shells now done. Oh, three more stalkers, though, might gear everything towards him. All depends on timing now. An observer is on the way. Still no probes, though. He, apparently he feels that this is enough. This is uh, 15 probes on 8 mineral patches. That is not enough, but he feels that it is. So, what is going on? We're just pretty much hanging out here. It's more stalkers being warped in. He does have 8 now. My refinery is finished, but I still can't see the stalkers. And now they're just starting to move in. And boom, they're inside my minerals, right as I was going to push, and I had to force everybody back. These guys should be out of here. They should have been out of here long before, but I always want to get my army queued up to move first. So these guys are stimmed up. I gave them as many drugs as I could. And I see here, oh crap, these SCVs are dying now. Two Marauders still on the rally point, and they'll be able to take out one of the Stalkers. But he has still lost a lot more units than I have. Even though he was able to take out some SCVs, because he hasn't been making probes this entire time, it is not that big of a difference. I do have... Oh, no, looks like... No, nope, still not making probes. What is going on here? Observer now inside my base. And I go down here and I'm like, what the hell? Where did this proxy Perlin come from? So I took it out. Immortal is on the way. I hate Immortals so much because they do manage so much damage to my overpowered Marauders. And yeah, they, I'll admit, they're pretty overpowered. They're pretty much cheap and they do a lot of damage. Meh, I love them. And you would love them if you had them too. Missile turret going up because I am scared of the observer and of, and of uh, Dark Templars because usually if a guy cheeses early, he'll do the mid-game cheese and that kind of stuff. And look at this observer just kind of standing there. Hey, is that a missile turret? Uh, he finally does get out of the way and no. Don't even get a shot off on the observer. So that was good paying attention even though it was Daredevil observer. He was playing chicken with that missile turret. Robotics Bay is on the way. Chrono Boost going down on Immortals. I guess he sees how many Marauders I have. But what he does not see is that these guys do have upgrades. They are one nothing. Concussive Shell, Stim Pack, and Combat Shield. Please tell me Combat Shield. Where's one of those Marauders? No Combat Shield. Mmm. Why no combat shield? But once again, it's doing a great job of queuing up right along the line there. I don't want any sniping done from there, but he didn't position anybody there anyways. Kind of a weird positioning on these units inside his base. Alright, so no expansion. That's why I stopped these guys here. Plus, I want them to bunch up. Able to take out a couple zealots. All three of them, in fact, before they do any damage. Focusing down these immortals. I don't care about the zealots right now. I want to take out the immortals. All of them do go down and therefore these marauders with that stim back up will be able to do a lot of damage to those uh, stalkers. Here I should be focusing down the pylon. I am and boom all three warp gates are down. And he is forced to leave the game. So that was definitely an inter interesting game. He's full on Chrono Boost again. I'll admit, not the best opponent. Uh, he was in the Silver Ladder, but I wanted to point out this proxy pylon. It You never know when guys are going to proxy you. Once that probe is inside your space, especially probes, especially, especially probes, you follow it from beginning to end. You just, as soon as you see it, just, like pull one of your SUVs off the line if you have to, if you don't have one free, and just follow it f and until it dies or until it leaves the base. 
don't let it get in don't let it do the proxy pile on it's what well it didn't lose the game for me but it could have if I didn't go for this build if I instead went for a destiny cloudfist build uh, the 111 fast starport build that probably would have would have lost the game for me and that's probably why this guy made it up to silver there are cheesers all up and down the board never assume that just because you're playing a quality opponent one that's favored over you that he's not going to do something like this it is part of the game um you just happen to see it more from the people in the bronze ladder than you do in the gold or platinum or even diamond level but you never know just you just never know but really the moral of the story is probes get more of them you need more than 15 on this, on these minerals i mean look at that i have less harvesters than him I'm not fully saturated on either one of my refineries, and I'm still getting more income than he is. I haven't been spending it, but you know, then again, I won. So that's the game. Once again, learn your lessons. So I hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Especially learned this one. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.